Hey guys, and uh, let's see if we're alive. Well, we're drunk now. <laughs> so welcome to part four of Bioshock Infinite. Last time we nearly died, and oh hey, Elizabeth. So this isn't trippy. How long has that guy been waiting outside? He sounds rather impatient, so probably a while. You just stumble over to open the door, and then you pass out drunk right there. <laughs> the character does drink a lot. Anna. 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 And we open to a loading screen. <laughs> He's just standing there like a oh, fuck. What the f Oh, come on. It's like, it's like opening to a lobby. Tapping his foot like, do I need to do this right now? I have a hangover. I feel like that was a joke on video games. You open the door to a loading screen. It possibly could be because there's. A, I, I won't. I won't say anything else. Actually, it could be. <laughs> I waited too long. Woo! Thanks for that. You made me live. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh, shock infinite. Give me the ear. No, it's me, Elizabeth. Are you all right? Obviously. Back in the land of the living. Here, let me. I'll be fine. You almost drowned. You need to. I said I'm fine. Just. <laughs> yeah, that's a establishing good attitude ahead of time. Do you hear that? Oh, it's music. ADD much? I know you're. <laughs> I know you're dying to see you. <laughs> okay, we'll just pass out. Glad you're not drowning. Now party! <laughs> well... So, where the hell am I? I hope your lungs want a beverage. <laughs> I'm gonna go swimming, never mind. It's time for a swim! Wee! <laughs> I'm so hurt, yay! I think this is one of the coolest hilarious, just by this design. So welcome to Bowship Bay, a beach in the middle of the sky. Where there's ammo. You see a young girl, a blue skirt, no? No, but I'm without an escort if you're looking to pass the time. Bye. Hey, hey. So, I'm looking for a young girl wearing a white what, What's blouse, interesting about this situation hair, is this is the first kind of peaceful thing we've dropped into since these guys have all tried to kill us. I just tried to mess with them for a while. <laughs> But this, this honestly, walking through this area makes you hate everyone around you. <laughs> Look at this one. Why don't you just sleep it off, chum? Fuck you guys. I almost died, and I might be a little bit drunk, but hey, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you? Oh, yeah. Well, at least my swimsuit ain't silly. <laughs> you look down. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's fully dressed. Oh yeah, this is my swimsuit. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for a young girl. <laughs> Ah, who is it, brother? <laughs> Pervert. Uh, that could be our ticket out of here. <laughs> Just to get out of here. Ooh! Booker, we were like on five. That did not work. Well, that one seems more. Look at all these people having fun. Ah, uh, look at that umbrella getting away, the kids in the sand. Look at those children being swept up by the wind. <laughs> and this Irishman stuck in a boiler room. Doesn't it look like fun? All I want is fair pay for an honest day's work. So hey, you guys, have any alcohol or food? I'm kind of healing myself with just by eating and stealing all this shit. <laughs> Nobody seems to mind. Now here's one thing I just as a nitpick on this game. Sometimes it is specific. If he's still in front of others, like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, Tell fuck me you. about it. An Oriental stopped me on the street and asked me for the time. Just like that. There should be a law. I think there is. Oh, fuck this place. I told you, you started walking around here, and at first it seemed all peaceful. Now it's just like, these fucking bigots. Fuck you in your sandcastle. <laughs> Swim a little further out, kids. There's sky over there. Hey folks, got interesting stories to tell. Looking for a girl with no pinky. 
Are you a girl with no pinky? Oh, I thought he was drunk. Going on any walk with you? Your reputation is well established. Yeah, you look like seven other guys we just passed through. Clearly, he's just everywhere at once. <laughs> Ladies stealing cotton candy. Ladies, <laughs> pretty manly of me. <laughs> Isn't a surfboard where the water's maybe twenty feet out before you drop into the That's sky? Kind of an awful idea. Stir up the patties and the negroes. First is labor. Oh owners, man. They're coming for you in your bed. Come stop! Should stomp them out. All of them cockroaches. So 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 fuck white people. Um, that's uh. Off to the party. Yeah. Thank you for a coffee, sir. Hey, miss it. Party, whoa! Dancing with all the racists. Come on, dance with me. I'm only half drunk. White girl, white girl, white girl. <laughs> miss. Miss Elizabeth. Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. Twain. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Things explode. How about <laughs> seeing that on fire? I don't understand. How could we get there? <laughs> I think that she is half drunk. Dance, yeah. How did she forget that? Let's go. I can't even stand properly. Oh. I'm out. It's hard to believe, but it's true, isn't it? Oh, nice bear music. Yeah. Anything like that. I love that you? they're playing an Oregon version of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. Like yeah. And like the Beach Boys song, that also gets explained. I'm just waiting for when everything starts mm. blowing up again. Look at him, ladies. A crime, someone doesn't get him a nice set of trunks. Yeah, I don't look <laughs> as shitty as you guys. Fuck off. And how do you know that? From one of the books I threw at you. I think we were, they were just throw so salt all over the sands. Well, there she is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, I want to live. <laughs> you guys look strong. I want to help. What are you doing? You can't do it. Boy, oh boy. Comstock will take care of the box. What I like about uh, the character Elizabeth is that she personally interacts with their surroundings as long as you approach them. So she, even though she's clearly in a character that's supposed to just be normal, you see her just thing like playing with characters, picking up items. Um, this isn't always an interesting thing. Mentioning Darwin, they're like, don't talk about Darwin. Darwin is taboo, by the way. See, she's just skipping stones for no reason. Did they have to do this in the game? No. And if you approach that kid, she buries him in the sand. <laughs> Alive, head first. Head first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, enough of that bullshit. Left, Let's exercise. Right. Left. No, jump. So this is... Jump. Jump. Yeah. Jump. Down to the toes. Two. Yeah. Down to the toes. Go <laughs> on. Go on. I can crouch. Right. Wait, that right. There we go. Right. Left. No, jump. 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 God, stop at some point. I'm gonna jump over your head, so oh, fuck it. What are you doing? <laughs> She's kind of aggroing all over the place. <laughs> I'm helping! There's an achievement for that, isn't there? If you, if you jump with the instructors. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to marry you. I've heard that before. You have to believe me. I'm gonna marry my hand in her butt. <laughs> Sounds a little generic. We're going to get married. It amazes me how many men I've met have the slightest idea. You say that every day. <laughs> Hi, Laura Bailey. I. But do you like my towel? <laughs> We're not getting married to it. <laughs> Mr. Duet. You get through. <laughs> I've read about that. With whimsy. She is gonna like aggro. Yeah, I'm helping! <laughs> Shows up in a Da Vinci helicopter with aggro. I'm helping! <laughs> <laughs> She's just on a jetpack. You really got out of nowhere. Just outside the window. Shh. Help me. So this area establishes that there's all these beautiful areas, but what's supporting it is shitty maintenance and racism. And an Irish guy. And all their drinks are mine. Where'd you? Fine. Just don't judge me for robbing. I remember playing this game and seeing Elizabeth. They're like, "You are ADD as shit." 
internal. <laughs> I guess it's to be fair, she hasn't been out in the outside world, but at the same time, she's like, ooh, a hammer. <laughs> Yay, I'm, oxygen. Well, actually, you know, right? Well, see, I could be a, you know, honestly, if she's not judging me for being a thief, that's fine. So this room is kind of creepy to me. What the fuck is that guy doing with his American doll? And why does she care? She could do I've never had a toy before. I never had a date with a doll before. How does it smell? <laughs> boy, oh boy. Are you a man? Poke. Mr. DeWitt here. Right in the dick. Bird. <laughs> the cage. Or perhaps the bird. Nothing beats the cage. Is you dry motherfuckers. They're amazing. Which one do you like more? This one or, or this? Well, don't rob the them. The bird is beautiful and the cage is somber, but there's really something special about it. So this kind of really is the first point where it presents you with a choice. Are you sure? To be perfectly I'm honest, sure. there's no difference between which ones you pick. I just generally pick the bird myself because I like it more. Yeah. But, the rest of, but the rest of the game, she does wear it, so it's the, beyond that, there's no real other relevance. Oh. We should get out of here. Let's go. I imagine for a bunch of people that believe that some relation to God, they must be freaking out. Including a little boy in the dress. <laughs> so hey guys, it's, it's just a statue. Fuck oh, off. Man, I wonder what happened there. Wacky. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to fairy music. Oh. <laughs> Dead angels just want to have fun. <laughs> I just want to have fun with cotton candy. Hey, kids, stop being sad. We have cotton candy. Make sure you have a piece of photographic identification ready for presentation. Put those arms up now. Fingers apart. Every cop's in Legs Brooklyn, apart. apparently. Stand what are you doing over here? Hold steady. So, uh, apparently they just ignore me as I go around. Come on. Ooh, a mysterious drink. Look at He's suspicious, if you ask me. All right, all right. Quiet. Elizabeth, are you this drunk? Oh God, now I am. Hi <laughs> there, it's Booker. Did you see her face? Did you see her face? She's like, what? What is happening? She had this look like, just like, are you really okay? I got open this fucking lock. Things locked. What are you doing? You're a roguish type. What does it look like? Done. So she's good at ha uh, breaking through locks like that. She does need uh, picks to do it, but that's one of her more useful purposes, I should say. It's a little inconsistent. The optional doors require actual lock picks that you find around the ground, and multiple ones, but if, it, if they're story specific, she doesn't require yeah. lock picks. She just uses her hand. I must take any task with more than the slightest complexity, or they simply leave it in ruins for me to clean up later. I like this guy. Oh, hello, sir. Don't you pay me no never mind. Just some foolishness, you know. <laughs> Just monkey it's, He has to act stupid in front of people so that way he doesn't get lose his job. That's it's kinda ridiculous. Hey, Mr. Dwight, I found these silver eagles. So here's something else she does. And she's kinda infamous for. It's probably a good idea. She just hands you shit. Um, which is kind of wrong. She's like, hey, you, you need, look like you need to be healed. But I've eaten enough food and shit to heal myself up no matter what. So I'm like, hey, thanks for money. I don't need anything, but thanks. I can't even buy this. Oh, I guess I need salts, whatever. Otherwise, I'm full stock and everything else, so that's wacky. So she does help a lot in those situations where she hands you stuff. She'll do it during fights. She'll hand you health items and salt hey, and stuff. Mister. Oh, hey, remember these two? Do I know you? Oh, hey. Back at the lottery, you... So you, we could have uh, affected the way these people receive us in, um, but they like me. So here's. So what kind of article of clothing we get from these people? Oh, a tornado <laughs> hat. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> Okay, people watching, um, go back a couple of seconds and look at the object. I saw a face. 
And it was a creepy ass face. Look at this ridiculous. Look at look at that sign. This is the uh, bathroom for the uh, coloreds and Irish people. And she acts in kind. I want out of here, God. She just rented out of there. This ain't no place for you, sir. You guys be on your way, or there's gonna be trouble for us both. It's no place for me because I am not Irish or black, so they're kicking me out. Look at that. Mon mind yourself amongst your betters. Fuck these people. This is the entire time I thought this game is fuck every single one of these jerks. I want them all to die. But hey, candy. <laughs> So that's a reference to the game itself. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite was delayed three times, so that reference was just brought to the fact that it was delayed so much. And she's just like, look at this arcade system, I tell ya. Listen. <laughs> look at how I turned it on. That was me. <laughs> Nailed it. I didn't think Elizabeth would be such a nerd. And then she ADD'd out for some con candy. Con candy here. It's your con candy. Con candy. Hey, yeah, you con candy. So I could just watch the stupid arcade things or watch kids spin in circles. But it'd be my pleasure to offer you a refreshment. <laughs> Thank you. I'll drink all the thumb. <laughs> I said a refreshment. They only offer me that I Come take the rest. Take a photograph with the father of our country. Thank Shut you, Steve Bloom. Cherry tree. He crossed the Delaware. On bended knee, he accepted the sword from the Angel Columbia. Hey there, posing robot of apparently one of the gods of this world. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. It's amazing how everything in this world is so emphasized to this belief system. There's not even a single bit where anyone believes otherwise. Even the entertainment itself is built around this belief that the founding fathers were basically angels. So we saw how the uh yeah, we had the... <laughs> and see, she even notices there's, like, colored bathrooms. Now let's see how the white bathrooms look. Oh. You don't intend for me to follow you in there. Look at all this shit. We were... <laughs> so apparently Comstock recorded an audio log in a shitter. I had a dog named Bill. Like all dogs. Are you all right in there? I'm listening to an audio log! <laughs> So, because you don't hear much of what he says because of Elizabeth here, he's he's basically saying that colored people are like dogs. More fuck you, Comstock. There is a strong emphasis on race and creed and everything like that, obviously. So all these things I'm doing this for are unnecessary. I could just walk through these areas, but to, he to hear what people say and how they react gets you more of a a painting of this world itself. And more racist terms used, apparently. Ooh, Nickelodeon! And not only that, a racist Nickelodeon. Look at this drunk motherfucker! And this group of drunk motherfuckers! So there's this dick we haven't met yet, really. We saw him earlier. He tried to get us basically killed. So, fuck that guy. Fuck everybody in this world. I want them all to burn. So I am the false prophet, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so I've kind of had my fun with this whole arcade thing. Those kids have iron stomachs, god. <laughs> they didn't- we was kind of walked away the part where they were vomiting. So, this part I thought was very interesting. Pay attention to your surroundings on this one. Annabelle? Excuse me? Annabelle, it's- Oh, thanks for the money, whatever. Oh, no, I'm not Annabelle. Are you sure? My name is Elizabeth. Do I know you? Elizabeth? Isn't that a lovely name? <laughs> that was... odd. Indeed. Last customer. 
Park's closing. Park's closing, everyone. Wait, what? Yeah, these shoes sure could benefit from a shine. Guess I haven't paid much attention. So it looks uh, like rain. Better rain than snow. I suppose that's true. Everyone's looking at me. This is weird. Hey, you want to watch out? Do you Can think you snow is better than rain? <laughs> Do you, motherfucker? <laughs> Here's this weird part coming up at the hot dog stand. Um, have you got sauerkraut? Sauerkraut? Uh, I guess so. I'll take um. One. <laughs> I want sauerkraut. <laughs> um, I'm hungry. I'm silver eagle. <laughs> All right. Watch this, watch this violin part. This always, this, I think it was just kind of like, whoa. <laughs> what? Everyone's looking at me. What the fuck? Excuse me. Well, that's what, okay. Hot of me, sir. for passage to the First Lady Airship. Yeah, just a minute, friend. Yeah, I have it. How do you, uh, want to proceed? In a bit of a rush, pal. Hey, mister, you're gonna get my mm -hmm. over your nice suit. I got it. I'll ring you back once a minute. <laughs> this isn't suspicious as shit. Yes, yeah, the bird. But I'll choose to ignore it. In front of him. Excuse me. I'll choose to ignore it. Here. Certainly, sir. Sorry about the way. Oh, God. What are you doing? Get the girl. Get off of me. Nut shot. <laughs> Hey, free weapon. Oh. You guys done fucked up. I had my sheet machine gun in my ass all along. So apparently that pissed off Elizabeth for some reason. Oh, come on. That's not cool. Oh, come on. Shoot to kill. So maybe she'll be less ADD now now that she's like life online and shit. What the fuck is he aiming at? Yeah, crows. I'm over there. Crows, crows, and crows. Crows! <laughs> <laughs> I'm still gonna really kill you bad despite you being really dead bad. There you go. Yeah, that was Angelus Travis. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the only way to describe the situation. Crows are bad, they said. They'll never work, you said. <laughs> Ow, my ear. Elizabeth, where are you? <laughs> Someone you know. So, Elizabeth ran off like a jerk. Someone you know could have leanings. Ooh, shotgun. The prophet advises you to remain vigilant. Me gusta. And that now, wasn't a shotgun. <laughs> I figure I don't need the pistol. Pistol's nice enough, but ah, that's fine. I gotta get another one later. Ooh, an auto log, you say? This is the moment we trained for. The false shepherd. Oh, there's a dude. What is he doing? I don't listen to this. Leave me alone. Get away. <laughs> Where am I? Where am I? I think I got him. <laughs> So that whole situation was because that was a sting to capture me and Elizabeth. So that's what I loved about that scene was that they made every character act somewhat suspicious without being so obvious, but still kind of obvious. It was a nice yeah. detail they added to that particular scene. Yeah, I'm such a dumb shit. I didn't catch it the first time. And then all of a sudden I got a knife in my hand. <laughs> yeah. See, go back this way for sure, because uh, if you didn't notice when you were looking at that dude that stabbed you in the fucking hand, there's one of these things again. And I certainly need some shield. Just now, you can put those anywhere you want. I tend to put them pretty even kilter, because you never really know where you'll find them more useful. But time to locate Elizabeth and wherever the hell she went. So yeah, hide in that day, y'all. Go get away from me there. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> you suck. I can't believe you did that. You're all dead. 
Shut up, Disney princess. You killed those people. Elizabeth. You're a monster. What did you think was going to happen? Cotton hmm? candy. The expense. I wanted sauerkraut. To keep you locked up in that tower. <laughs> One silver. You think people like that? I'm in a sandcastle of the sea, washed it away. Investment. And you will not be safe until you Some are douche far. stepped on it. It was you! What do they want from me? I don't know. That's the last time anyone gets the drop on me. Cough. <laughs> I thought. Let me see your oh, yeah, my fucking hand. <sighs> what happened back there? Oh, it hurts after it's me firing all those guns with it. I don't know. <laughs> It's called Adrenaline. So, this is not much of a spoiler, really. But you spend the rest of that game with that wrapped around your hand. If you chose to pull the weapon on the guard, you don't. So, um, the first time I played this game, I did pull the weapon on him before that happened, and I didn't have a bandage on my hand the whole time. So, I, I thought that was an interesting detail. It's always the little touches, you know? I like the little touches. because the t And these little touches all have points to them. In fact, Booker has the bandage on his hand on the box art for the game. Yeah. So, the only reason I'm mainly looking through this is I forgot to look through this the first time I played this part of the level. So, first time I beat through this, I didn't look through this, which means, when I get out of this, achievement time. Woo! I just gotta find the rest of them that I missed. I think I'm missing like three more. But anyway, um, now that we moved out of that sector, uh, time to move on to more random adventures at this point. Um, first, we're going to end up in kind of a cool little weird area <laughs> to, end, to kind of round this out, which is a loading screen. I mean, go figure. A <laughs> loading kind of ruined the pacing a little bit, but <laughs> it is what it is. Hello there, saluting eagle. Bye. <laughs> so, at least in the next part, um, we're going to get get more involved in seeing how Elizabeth affects the whole battle map on and how the um, Skyhook has effect and kind of how we're going to progress and get the hell out of this uh, Columbia now. So, this is where we're going to get more action-oriented than ever before. All right, sweet. You know, speaking of the loading screens, honestly, we're not going to be truly next-gen until those are gone forever. I don't, yeah. Funny. I can't think of too many ways where they'd possibly do that because if anything, they're doing more emphasis on putting more in games. So I imagine the loading screens will be just as long, if even longer than they used to be. But some games, um, you know, for example, uh, Silent Hill, for example, is a great example. An old game that utilized a common system, the fog, as a way to load the ba further backgrounds as you walked into it. They only loaded the so much as you can see and within the fog, the game was loading. So it kept load screens from appearing, but it was also game-oriented. I thought that was pretty clever. But I don't think too many games can get away with that nowadays. It can be fog and everything. Yeah, it's like kind of a joke now. Yeah. I mean, certain games like back then used to use fog a lot. And it got to the point where it's like, really? More fog? Um, but I just don't think with the, how currently we're trying to make the games more vivid and larger in scope that we'll any, by any means have a system that can handle that. And just be like, automatic load. Though that'd be awesome. And the only reason I bring that up is because I remember at the start of the last console generation, uh, like everyone was going on a, on and on about how the PS3 and the 360, the graphic capabilities, we could get so much closer to almost photorealistic graphics, and then you would get blindsided by one of the stupid smaller things no one realized that we still have to deal with, like constant loading screens. That's like we're still not really next gen. It's all just visuals. Well, honestly, just from a budget concern and how people make money at games nowadays, it just doesn't really warrant going through the effort to do it. You know, games are more expensive than they ever are, so they have to sell more than movies do, hypothetically, to really make up what they've done. So even these really good-looking games have to have these moments of that. Now, they can disguise it well enough, but there's really no way around it. Because if you honestly, if you look at every game that looks gorgeous, there's probably about nine other games that look like shit. On the system, and honestly, mm -hmm. if you look at, you can look at games from last generation consoles that look better than some of the games we had on our current generation. Um, just because that wasn't the emphasis, it was just 
they didn't have the budget or money to do it. So I'm not sure where the gaming market's going to go from here. Because if anything, games are just going to get more expensive to manufacture and make. So somehow they're going to have to find ways to streamline that. And if they can, and manage to basically work with the materials the best they can, maybe they can kind of get out of that rut they're in. Because honestly, I don't know where the gaming market's going to go. I feel like, if anything, and that's depressingly to say, I can't see much of a future as it currently is going. And that's me being serious. <laughs> mm. I, no, I want success for it. I love gaming, but to be perfectly honest, with a market where an app will sell more than a game will, or a, a game that might cost considerably less money than a one that costs a lot of money, then people are going to naturally just put less money in their games, um, which could be for the benefit of it, but maybe that'll force people to actually make better, basically better content, I would think. Less big budget stuff, more content. But that's me being optimistic. We did have kind of a weird console launch. I mean, if you look, well, every console launch, I mean, is always kind of nothing compared to what people tend to show it off as. They always show these, these like, the, this next-gen graphics is, like, the most ridiculous thing you've ever seen. But especially for the initial launch of consoles, the differences between late-generation last console and new-generation new console looks very similar in graphical prowess and things like that. I mean, honestly, if you could think of, I mean, beyond maybe, say, some of the games that give you a little bit shinier detail... A lot of those games could get that kind of quality if you did it on late-term PS3 or 360. So basically, we're not going to really see what the PS4 and the Xbox One can really do until they're dead. Yeah, well, that happened. that's happened with the last couple co- generations of consoles. Some of the best games those consoles ever came out with came in the, basically the twilight years of their existence. Um, twilight Princess is a good example. That one didn't get released until the Wii was dying, and it was probably one of the best games for that system, really. Or not the way it died. The GameCube was dying. The GameCube. Yeah. yeah. So it was the one that really utilized the graphics the best. Um, Last of Us is a great example. That was in the Twilight of the PlayStation 3 and utilized the graphics the best for their system as well. Um, and honestly, a lot of those games are not only some of the best stuff they're releasing, but it's also some of the rarest stuff they have, too. Some of those GameCube games and Wii games that came out later in their cycle are the most expensive games you could buy. Mm-hmm. Because they never expected to make that many because they don't expect to sell that many. I just bought a copy of a Xenoblade Chronicles, which was like, ugh. Like, it was, I saw it was $20 a point when the Wii was out, and I bought it for like $60 used. That's why I never buy consoles for their initial launch, because I never fall for that. I know you give it a couple years, they'll actually have better content as it goes along, and they'll actually utilize their graphic systems better. That's one reason I didn't buy a PS3 until the last year. I'm glad I waited a bit on that. I bought the, uh, Nintendo, the Nintendo is always one of those exception rules because they generally do have some really nice launch exclusives. But then you have super long drought period and then something awesome and then a drought period and then something awesome and then it just dies. Yep. Though to bring the discussion back to Bioshock Infinite, I am glad I jumped on it with just in time to catch that as it happened. I mean, that was one of those... I think um, the intriguing nature of it was the fa- fact that it was kind of a prolific... You know, it's the way they tend to kind of handle the nature of discussion that no other game is really kind of touched or was kind of afraid to touch at that. And also it wasn't doing it in any kind of form of gratuity. There wasn't any kind of gratuity to the acts of what they were talking about. It wasn't there to make fun of religion or make fun of racism or things like that. It was just trying to establish a world. They don't say racial slurs just to say racial slurs is my point. Right. It has a point. Getting all serious and shit. Can I hit and record now? No. <laughs> Crows. Crows. <laughs> okay, now end record. Okay. Lies, 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 yeah. <laughs>